sponsors of the Central Tonight Sports Report. Accident compensation and medical negligence claims. Yes, it's going to be petrol head heaven here this weekend. 30,000 people, more than that actually, packed into Donington Park for the second round of the British Touring Car Championship. As you can see behind, we've got all the trucks here lined up. The show really has come to town. There's a lot of effort going into this. And at the moment, they're working on the cars, trying to get the slightest edge over their rivals. That's what it's all about. A lot of technology involved. And this season, in fact, there's a new revolutionary gadget which has been invented and made in Birmingham and to tell us about it, here's Mark Goff. Jason Plato, one of the hottest names in British touring car racing, speeding to victory on the opening day of the season at Brands Hatch. He's in an MG6 car and on Dunlop tyres, both made in Birmingham. Dunlop's been in the city since the start of the last century and it's now making a high-tech name for itself in this century, with this. It's a microchip and radio transmitter built into the tyres, telling the pit stop when it's time to change them. The sensor helps us track which tyres are being used on which cars at, at which time. And in a championship where the rules might say you can only use a certain number of tyres over a weekend, such as in the British Touring Car Championship where you can only use 16 tyres during a weekend, it's important that we make sure that the teams comply with those rules, so it helps the teams and it helps the organisers as well. All cars in the British Touring Car Championship run on these tyres made in Birmingham and this racing technology might now be used on normal roads. Dunlop demonstrated this at the Geneva Motor Show back in March and um, we got huge interest from other areas of the of the motor industry, particularly from um, truck fleets, because truck tyres are, are a high value asset. Um, they get recycled, they get regrooved, and they get retreaded. So it's important to be able to track the whole life cycle of a truck tyre. More than 250 people made tyres at Dunlop Motorsport in a building where they made inflatable decoy tanks at the start of the Second World War. And Dunlop still get the odd order or two for a tyre from yesteryear. But it's the tyres tomorrow and Sunday which will be in the spotlight. Mark Goff, Central Tonight. So those sensors invented and made in Birmingham. And actually, you can see them here. They're in these tyres. These are the tyres we've been talking about, or Mark Goff has been talking about. The sensor, I understand, is in there. And notice, he even got the initials on this tyre as well. That's because we have Matt Jackson here. Not the only things made in Birmingham. You're from... Uh, in the Midlands, aren't you, Matt? Certainly am, yeah. I was born and bred in, uh, in Henny and Arden, so, uh, yeah, not a million miles away. And what do you think about this technology, this, this idea of having a sensor in the tyre? Um, I think it's great. You know, it's, um, it's a unique thing to, to Dunlop that, that, you know, they've invented this, this process where we, we have a maximum amount of tyres that, that we can use on a race weekend, and it's, um, it's a good way for them to track against what, what driver has what tyres. And every time we enter the pit lane, that gets recorded and every time we leave it gets recorded again so it's to ensure that it's a level playing field there's no uh, there's no funny business going on with some extra tires um, out there so i think it's it's great you know and, and obviously the motorsport side is at the forefront of technology and no doubt this will carry over into you know road car technology andrew jordan you're you're another midlander you're litchfield aren't you what 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 do you think about this this technology and excuse the planes going over we are next to the airport it's going to be noisier over the weekend though isn't it yeah, it is. You know, Donington's a great circuit to come to. It's, it's mine and Matt's local circuit. I'm from, from Litchfield, so half an hour down the road. But as you say, there's great technology here with Dunlop tyres. Um, they're always on the up to try and up, up the technology. And, and for us, it's then, then a case we get these great tyres provided by Dunlop, and it's for us to, to maximise the performance over a race distance and over qualifying to, to get the most out of it for, for ourselves. And, and are you aware of the fact you've got these sensors in there? I mean, how much does it impact on the drivers? You don't actually feel anything different or anything like that. It's only that you know that you, you drive through the, the Dunlop um, kind of beacons as you come into the pits and then as you leave the pits, and, and as Matt said, they're tracking what tyres you've got on the car and that you're not using any extra or any different tyres. So you don't actually feel anything differently as, as a driver, but you just know that it's been tracked and you'll be watched. Well, we've been talking uh, quite a bit about technology and tyres, but of course it's the drivers and the cars that matter quite a lot too. And inside here with uh, Matt, inside the garage, the car looks pretty much like a normal car. Matt, what's the difference? It does, yeah. I mean, fundamentally, you know, what we've got here is a, is a Ford Focus ST, um, you know, a very similar car to what you would, you would take down the shops, um, at least on the outside. Yes. 
Inside the car, very, very different. We uh, obviously, for, for weight reasons, we, we take out all of the, um, the, the sort of radio, the sat nav, everything is, is disappeared for, for weight reasons. Um, the driving position is altered. You can see that it, the steering wheel is right back um, in, into the, almost into the center of the car. Um, and of course, that obviously means that we couldn't use the car if we were to look at taking some pass passengers around. There is no room in the car. Yeah, it uh, looks like we're going to have to walk back, doesn't it? You're not going yeah, to get I in think, there. Um, yeah, it's, it's a long walk for you guys. Yeah. Um, um, what about the engine itself then? The engine, again, you know, we, we, we start with a standard uh, Ford Duratec unit and then we, we turn it into the, obviously, the race car that is. And um, it's, uh, all the cars are turbocharged. You can see the turbo down here. We run the same turbo across all of the cars on the grid. That ensures that we've got parity in engine performance. And um, as you can see, there's a lot of work that goes into it. I think the figure most people are, are, are want to know about is 0 to 60 in about four seconds, which is really motorcycle speed. But as we've seen so far, technology, it's the, uh, the main thing for motorsport. They really embrace it. Whereas football, of course, they're still dithering about whether to use goal line.